Hey guys, me and David. It's uh, well, 12, 23, 2020, uh, Wednesday night. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So I got, uh, I got my, all my presents wrapped and all that stuff. It's for the dogs. <laughs> you know, these guys are spoiled. They kind of deserve it watching me go through all this crap all the time. And, you know, I don't know if they're getting hit or not. Um, but uh, they kind of deserve to be spoiled a little bit. So, um... It hasn't been too bad of a day. Um, I pissed off my attackers today. Um, I'm trying to put things together. You know, I, I mean, it, it's... Um, something's going on uh, in my program. Um, you know, it's... Um, you know, I mentioned it a couple uh, videos back and stuff. Um... You know, I was trying to piece it together today. You know, I was thinking, why are they showing me all this stuff? Like I mentioned before, you know, why are they why are they showing me all this stuff? You know, you know, front companies and agents living next door. You know, agents lived over there for a couple of years, and then they showed me that they own a company, a rafting company, and then they showed me they own a bar and all this stuff. So why did they do that? Well, here's. You know, I thought it was for my sake. You know, I thought, I thought, well, they're they're showing me and telling me all this stuff. Well, maybe they're not telling me this at all. Maybe they're telling my perps this. Okay, so, you know, th these guys that are torturing us, you know, okay, I, I agree with Brian too. They're they're. I think there are some people involved that know about the brain and all that stuff. But I also think there are people involved that love to torture you. I think they love to torture you. I think they look for reasons to torture you. I think they're just hap torture happy a holes. You know that's what I think. You know um, they enjoy torture and they get sexually aroused. It's an adrenaline rush. It's like a drug to these people. They're addicted to this. All right. So, but I do think people are are involved that know about the brain too. You know, but I don't think these 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 people that are torturing you. I don't think they're told anything about you. You know, even Doctor Duncan said that they're not they're not told anything about you. They get scored on the information they obtain from you. You know, they get scored on that. You know, um, and I've noticed that with these guys when I when I had V two K. I, I was uh, laying in bed being tortured with V2K and all this stuff. They're doing skits. Well, a lot of it was live. They were talking to me. You know, I, I was talking back to them. They were answering me. You know, it wasn't a recording or anything. They were talking to me live a lot of times. You know, and I said, uh, I'm like, this is MK Ultra." You know, this is a, was at the beginning of my program when I started doing research on all this stuff. Um... And they're like, no, this ain't MK Ultra. They didn't know what MK Ultra was even. They didn't know what it was. You know, you could tell they didn't even know what it was. Um, so a lot of people, uh, you know, the, the, they don't know what's going on. They pretend like they know everything and that they're God and they have all this power. They want you to think that. They really don't. They really don't have all this power and all this stuff that they, they want you to believe they have. You know, so they're not told anything about us. All right, so, so, going back to my program, um, so I'm thinking, why are they showing me all this stuff? Well, maybe it's not just for me. Maybe they're, you know, because they can see through my eyes. They know what's going on and all this stuff. Maybe they're showing them what's going on. I thought about this today. You know, so, so I'm thinking, okay, so, um, you know, we had agents move in there. They moved out this. They moved out uh, this summer. They were there for two years, and they showed me what's going on. They showed me they own a bar and all this stuff. They were involved in my program. I think they were agents from an agency. Um, which one? I don't know. But okay, so so they were showing me all this stuff. Like it was kind of like. Oh, well, the last time I got out of the psych ward, um, something happened. I don't know if their money got cut off. Something happened where 
I was tortured super, super, super bad in the treatment center for three months. And something happened after that. They cut their money off or something. All right. So, um, and they kind of let me see that. They were trying to buy the laundromat. They were, they were pressuring the owner of the laundromat. I haven't seen him around there in a few years. I know they own that laundromat now. You know, they were having a rubber sale. They had an agent undercover fed car there that she was driving to let me know they own that laundromat. Well, they might not be just telling me this. They're telling the perps that too because they're not, these perps don't know anything. So they're telling these perps all this stuff too through me. Is what I, I'm gathering. Um, so, uh, you know, um, so they're showing me all this stuff for a reason. I think they're telling the torturers, you know, in not so many words. They're saying, hey, look, dumbass. You tortured the hell out of him for three months, dumbass. And now they cut the money off from the program. And now we have to open up front companies to fund the program. That's kind of what I'm, I'm finding out, like right now. And they're telling the perps that too. You know, kind of like, look at dumbass what you did. You know, you tortured them so bad and all this stuff. Now they cut the money off. And now we have to open up front companies. This is a big program, you know. Is what they're telling them, you know. Okay, so the last three years, two and a half, three years, I've been getting it hard. I, you know, they gave me a heart attack uh, three years ago, and I've been getting it ever since. They don't care if you have a heart attack. They don't care if you're almost on your deathbed. They don't care. They will hit you no matter what. These torture happy freaks don't care. They don't care. You know, if you're on your deathbed, they don't care. They'll sit there and hit you. You know, so, um, you know, there's a lot of agents involved in my program that are from an agency. I don't know which one, I don't know which agency, but I think they're babysitting these idiots. And I think they're getting sick of babysitting these idiots because this idiot wants to throw me in the psych ward every week. You know, he wants to throw me in the psych ward every week. He wants to see how far he can push me. Until I call for help and they take me away, you know. Okay, so it gets kind of confusing. Um, so I've been getting nailed lately the last couple of years pretty hard. Um, every other week this guy nails me. It's like he wants to send me to the psych ward and all this stuff. But... Okay, the torturers don't want me to go to the psych ward. For some reason, they don't want me to go to that psych ward if I call for help. All right? But, okay, they leave it up. You know, these agencies leave it up to me to stop this. They leave it up to me. You know, like when I was getting microwaved super bad in the head, uh, the 911 operator had no... No hesitation or anything. She's like, do you want to go to the hospital? And I'm like, well, the last time I went to the hospital for something, they, they locked me up in the psych ward. And then she's like, well, maybe that's not the best option. You know? And when I called my nurse practitioner, she was asking me what kind of thoughts and stuff that I was having and all this stuff. You know? She was kind of hinting towards, well, if you think you're going to hurt yourself, you should probably go to the psych ward. So these groups are on different pages. You know, it's almost like, oh, I don't know. You know, it, it's confusing. You know, um, you got these agencies on, on one page, and then you got the torturers on a different page. They don't want to send you to the psych ward, but they almost, they come that close from sending you there. That's how bad they torture you until you call for help. You know, how far can we go until he calls for help? We want to sit here and torture the hell out of him until he calls for help. And then you have the agencies that are kind of, they're kind of like 
Do you want to go to the psych ward? You want to go to the hospital and get help? You want to, you know, um, something is up with all this stuff, you know. But they don't, they really don't want me to go to the psych ward. You know, the way I look at it is, these agencies are like, hey, idiots, look at how big his program is. They cut the money off because you're a moron, you know. So send him to the psych ward. Go ahead and do it. And you're not here. He's not going to be around anymore. He's not going to be around for you to torture anymore. We're going to take him away. You know, where will they put me? Okay, so if I get locked up again, I might not be back. They might put me somewhere. Where are they going to put me is the question. Okay, so you got the the agencies. They might take me away from these guys. You know? And then you have the torturers that think, Oh, well, if we send him to the psych ward, we're going to put him somewhere. And we're going to torture him 18 hours a day. Hardcore. That ain't going to happen. These agencies are not going to let that happen. They're not going to let me be tortured. Hardcore like that, like I was in the treatment center. It's not going to happen. But see, these torturers are ignorant. Their head is up their ass. And they think, oh, because I like torturing him so much. Oh, we're going to put him somewhere. And we're going to get to torture him 20 hours a day. <coughs> and I tell you, that's not going to happen. The government is not going to pay for that to happen. You know, I'm talking hardcore torture. I've, I've been through it, you guys. You know. Hit my brain stem, knock my balance off. Uh, they hit me in front of people, um, you know, and all this stuff, you know. So, so my my thing is is that they do 